Now, Governor Abu Kafis has restated his administration's commitment to turn around the infrastructural deficits of Taraba State, speaking during an inspection tour with uh, some of his commissioners to the site of some ongoing projects within Jalingo, the state capital. He said that all hands are on deck to ensure transparency and accountability in delivering the project. Correspondent Jude Nu Gundali filed this report. Governor Abu Kafis. His deputy, alongside other government officials, visits some ongoing project within Jalingo, the state capital. The ongoing property presidential lodge, the College of Nursing and Midwifery, the Cafes International Palliative Market, the trailer park and executive lounge of the Dambaba St. Hay Airport are part of the sites visited. The others are the ongoing construction of the College of Agriculture, CAFES Ultra Modern Abattoir, the State House of Assembly, and some ongoing project inside the government house. Speaking shortly after the inspection tour, the Deputy Governor, Amin Al Khali, and the Commissioner for Information and Reorientation, Barista Zainab Osman Jalingo, briefed the press on their assessment. That we want to see the level of the projects and make sure that they meet the targeted period or time we gave them to complete the works because we want to uh, commission some of the projects before or on our first year in office. So, so far so good and the contractors have actually tried in meeting the deadline where we have given them um, doing the quality work we expected of them. Today's exercise by His Excellency shows the proactiveness of His Excellency and this administration. We went round all together with all of you to see the work in progress so far. Any of the section or ministry that there is an ongoing project, we were there to supervise and see the extent of the work that is done. We started with the Algon House where there are a lot of renovations and changes taking place there to turn it into a guest house and resting area for the World Bank and other United Nations um, projects that are coming into Taraba State. So all in all, all I can say is you could see the proactiveness of His Excellency and you could see the extent of works that are going on within the state. This will open the state when we have um, uh, um, a functional airport and proper residential areas and guest houses for guests. will open up the state for other commercial activities. The deputy governor speak on the commencement on the long-awaited urbanization and rehabilitation road project. He insists that government is out to revive the infrastructure of the state to ensure that the dividends of democracy are felt by all and sundry. When the governor promised that, you expect that whenever his uh, internal general revenue and the subvention we'll be getting from the federal government uh, will take care of what you are thinking, what he said will be done. But if the money is not enough, we don't want any work that will be done haphazardly for us because we want people to make sure that we are doing a quality job for them. That is why you have not seen the work started by now. But I'm sure in the next one or two months, you'll see the work start. Residents are expected to give the needed support to the administration through peaceful coexistence for development to thrive as the government is determined to ensure that all sectors of the state economy get a facelift. And now we'll go for a quick break and we'll return. The news continues. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.